an interceptor missile fired from the Iron Dome system can cost between $40,000 and $50,000. In contrast, Israel claims that achieving the same interception goal with the Iron Beam system costs only $2. With the continuous energy supply for the laser, the advantage lies in never depleting ammunition, ensuring a sustained capability for defense. The absence of conventional ammunition will directly result in significant cost savings from production and logistics for the country. In light of recent hostile activities from Hamas, Israel have may deploy iron beam laser air defense systems. With this strategic decision, the 100 kilowatt laser is a game changer. Rafael has been developing laser technology for more than 20 years, but recent research has achieved significant breakthroughs. In March 2022, the Israeli military conducted a series of successful tests using iron beam, in which the prototype destroyed incoming drones, murder shells, and anti-tank missiles. The iron beam laser system was earlier planned to enter service in 2025. However, following the outbreak of war, the Israeli Ministry of Defense might think of deploying it sooner. According to the German Diewehr report, this weapon system is set to see its deployment to intercept rockets launched by Hamas from Gaza or the Shiite organization Hezbollah from Lebanon. Once operational, Iron Beam will serve as a short-range component of Israel's integrated missile defense system. The system can intercept hostile rockets drones, artillery, and even motor shells. Although there has been no official confirmation from the Israeli Ministry of Defense of such a deployment, a video circulating on social media allegedly shows iron beam in action against rockets fired by Hamas. However, upon investigation, Netizens pointed out that the footage actually sourced from the realistic war and military simulator Arma 3. The Iron Beam, also known as Magan or Light Shield, was publicly revealed during the Singapore Air Show on February 11, 2014, by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems an Israeli defense contractor. This directed energy weapon air defense system serves the purpose of neutralizing short-range projectiles that are too near for the Iron Dome system to effectively intercept. Its operational range extends up to 7 kilometers and encompasses the ability to engage unmanned aerial vehicles. In April 2022, the Israeli Defense Ministry announced that its development laser air defense system had effectively intercepted drones, rockets, motors, and anti-tank missiles during its initial series of tests. At the time, the ministry proudly stated that Israel was among the first nation to successfully harness laser technology to create a functional air defense system showcasing interceptions in real operational scenarios. However, Iron Beam also has disadvantages. Iron Beam cannot operate effectively in wet conditions. The more moisture in the atmosphere, the more water particles absorb the laser's energy. Even in optimum conditions, the laser losses 30 to 40 percent of its potential energy to atmospheric moisture before hitting the target. 
a limitation of laser systems is their diminished effectiveness during restricted visibility, such as heavy cloud cover or adverse weather conditions. To overcome this limitation, Israel plans to mount the system on an airplane, aiming to bypass the challenge by positioning the system above the clouds. However, this implementation is still a few years away from becoming a reality. And unlike Iron Dome, Iron Beam requires a direct line of sight between the system and its target, making its placement far more critical. It also has a much slower rate of fire, requiring 5 seconds or so to transmit sufficient energy to destroy its target. The Iron Beam system utilizes a fiber laser to eliminate airborne targets. It can function independently or integrate with external queuing as an integral part of an air defense system. When the surveillance system identifies a threat, vehicle platforms track and engage the target accordingly. Nonetheless, while the Iron Dome system is consistently demonstrating its effectiveness, with cure rate exceeding 90% in various scenarios, the performance of Iron Beam is yet to be determined. The cost of cure is more, said Yuzi Rubin, a missile defense expert at the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Instead of the interceptor fired by Iron Dome, which can cost $60,000 each, you send a laser beam that costs just a few dollars. With no need for ammunition, Iron Beam isn't subject to supply chain concerns. It is also smaller and lighter than Iron Dome, which makes it easier to move and to conceal. For now, how well Iron Dome performs on the battlefield remains speculation. That could soon change if Department of Defense engineers develop a way to integrate it into wider systems. The Iron Beam system will increase the effectiveness of Israel's multi-layer air defense and missile defense system. <laughs>